Welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here for the Healthy Hustle today. You know, the weather is cooling off. The leaves are beginning to fall, and the calendar is telling us that autumn is going to be here before we know it. And while the cooler weather and colorful scenery are welcome changes after a long, warm summer, they also indicate that the end of the gardening season is fast approaching. So before you put all your tools in the shed and hang up the gloves for the colder months, do yourself a favor and set yourself up for a fruitful harvest next year by taking a few simple steps now to prepare your garden for winter. So if you want to reap the benefits of gardening next year, here are four steps you should be taking now so you'll be ready to hit the ground running in the spring. With the change in the weather, you'll notice that some plants are starting to dry up. Meanwhile, pesky weeds are starting to thrive. Spend some time enjoying the crisp fall air while you walk around and clean up your garden. Start by getting rid of any dead or unhealthy plants or other debris. Some pests and plant diseases like to hang out on plant debris throughout the winter, which means they'll be there to wreak havoc in the spring if you don't get rid of them while you have the chance. With that being said, you don't need to stress about getting rid of every single piece of debris from your garden. There are good bugs that like to hibernate in garden debris also. So leaving some debris that you know isn't infested can be beneficial to your garden in the long run. Once you've disposed of the dead plants and debris, it's the perfect time to get rid of all the weeds that have popped up. And while it may be tempting to just rip the weeds off at the surface, you'll be better off taking the time to dig them up. And this will allow you to get rid of as many of the roots as possible, which will make the weeds more vulnerable to winter weather and less likely to cause you problems next season. The soil under your feet is home to trillions of microscopic organisms, and the vast majority of them help the plants in your garden thrive. These beneficial organisms are what make up healthy soil, and the key to helping them survive the winter is providing them with plenty of food. The best way to do this is to add a layer of organic homemade compost to your garden before the weather gets too cold. Now, ideally, your compost wouldn't be completely decomposed yet. As it sits in your garden over the next few months, it'll continue to break down, providing a continuous supply of food for all those microorganisms and giving your plants healthy, nutrient-rich soil in the spring. Now that you've given your soil much-needed nutrients, the next step is to give it a little cover to protect it from the harsh weather. You can do this in one of two ways, planting some cover crops or laying mulch. Cover crops like clover, peas, or winter barley are a great way to plant in the fall because they will not only provide protection but also help to replenish the soil by giving a boost of nutrients. If you'd rather not plant a cover crop, you can protect the soil with a layer of mulch. Adding one to three inches of mulch over your garden helps protect it from being washed away and it preserves moisture and makes it harder for the seeds to grow. Additionally, the mulch will begin to break down over the next few months, which will slowly add nutrients to your soil. With those three tasks complete, it's time to put away your tools and equipment for the winter. But before you hang everything in the shed, make sure that they're gonna be in the best shape possible for when you're ready to use them again. So here are just a few ways that you can do that. First, clean the garden pots and trays. Keep mold away and make planting season easier by thoroughly cleaning all your empty pots and trays before putting them in storage. This way, they'll be ready for you when you're ready to plant next year's garden. Also, fix and clean the tools and spaces. Your gardening tools have helped you do a lot over the last couple months, so keep them clean and keep them from getting rusty. Also, you can expand your garden. If you've been looking to make your garden space bigger, this is the best time to do so. So you can start clearing weeds and nourishing your soil now so that the space doesn't need a lot of prep come spring. And buy seeds. Winter is the best time to buy your seeds, particularly if you buy them in bulk. 
Since it's the off season, you're more likely to get a great deal on the seeds that you're looking for, and you'll already have them on hand when it comes time to plant again. Gardening is a great way to nourish your body with healthy foods while enjoying all that nature has to offer, and that's why we consider it part of living the new earth life. Give yourself a helping hand this fall by doing everything you can to make sure your garden is ready to take on the winter months and be ready to go once the weather starts warming up again. Trust us, you'll thank yourself later. Thank you for joining me on The Healthy Hustle today. We'll talk to you again next time.